um, super excited to uh, do a very special conclusion. Whoops, I gotta fix my camera here. I don't need an extra video of me. Forget that. There we go. Everything I need is right here on this hangout. Okay, so uh, we're doing a special, like, encore episode uh, that is going to be a conversation between Roxy and Emily because we got a lot to wrap up. There was a lot of stuff that happened, and Roxy is going to get to react to all of it, and it's going to be fantastic, and I'm very excited. So, without further ado, uh, let me just double check and make sure the stream is on. I think it is. It is. It is. It is. We are ready to roll. Okay. So, without further ado, uh, we are going to begin. Three, two, one. Game on. Hey there, Roxy. Hey. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. You know, it's not too long to launch. I've kind of been working nonstop. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm amazed that I'm actually still captain because I voted against myself to still be captain. Well, I voted for you, so. Thank you. And whatever I want, I get. I've noticed. I've noticed. So. And hey, look, other people might have a problem with it, but it makes some of my decisions easier. So I'm all for it. You know. I mean, I don't really, I don't really care what you are as long as you do your job. What the hell? Thanks. I mean, <laughs> it seems that I still need to eat, even though I'm part not human. Uh, so I'm doing that now. But yeah, I mean, I'm still captain. So, that's a thing that I didn't expect to happen. Um, I understand you had something to say before I update you on everything that, that happened and everything that, uh... Yeah, um, you I, uh, Okay, so first, I just wanted to let everyone know that, um, even though I was here against my will, I was offered a way out of my contract... And I turned it down. So I'm here. You guys are stuck with me. Um, in order to, I don't want to say commemorate, but to uh, show my appreciation for you guys in my own small way, I had trophies made for each of you, akin to some of the trophies I've received for my movie work. So um, for you, Captain... What, trophies? I've, I've gotten medals before, but I, I've never got a trophy. It is a straight-up trophy. Um, it is engraved for you, and I will be bringing it with me when I board the ship, and I will be personally handing it to you. All right. But as right. of right now, here is a picture of it. I am checking this out right now. <laughs> I just looked at what it was called, and my, if I had a real heart, which I don't think I do, it would probably be melting right now. Oh, <laughs> oh, for the viewers at home, I got the best captain award. That's, that's mm -hmm. sweet. Thank you, Roxy. You are very welcome. Um, considering take care of it. I'm actually take a captain, I, I appreciate it, considering I'm actually still captain, especially, so. Well, I would have given it to you, even if you were <laughs> Oh, the best so, thank you. Um, I enjoy so accommodating was, uh, you. <laughs> that was it. I was going to give out like best pain in the ass awards oh. and stuff like that. But, you know, things are the way they are mm -hmm. and maybe it worked out for the best. Um, it was actually, uh, I wanted to give a small shout out to uh, the Make-A-Wish I helped. Um, the day before yesterday was actually her idea. Mm -hmm. She said that I should do that, and and uh, uh, it was it was fun. I had a good time with the Make a Wish there. Good. So <laughs> good. Well, I'm gonna give you a rundown of some of the news. You already heard the news. I'm still captain. So yes, that's interesting. Well <laughs> uh, there's something else that you should probably know about. Um, well, it's kind of about Dr. Proctor. Okay. Um, hmm. How do I put it? I'm going to enjoy seeing your reaction to this. Uh, well. 
Dr. Proctor has a pen name, and that pen name is Cassandra Montague. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. How, I, wait, how was Proctor able to be a guest the same time that, wait, how? It's like her alter ego. She was, like, logged in twice. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That's I her. had no idea. Yeah, that's Oh, my her. gosh, and I argued with her about things, too. Oh, my lord. Yeah. Um, there's, yeah. Now I, now, I, now I can't give her biggest pain in the ass for award. How am I going to do that? You can't. <laughs> there's, uh, there's more news about her. Um, okay. But I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Okay. You know, it's it's good. Suspense. Yeah, suspense. Remind me if I don't tell you. You know I'm forgetful about things that are not crucial to the operation of the ship. Okay, so the next thing that that happened, um, there's a rogue mistress update. I had asked everyone to hunt down rogue mistress, and before that could happen, uh, there was a breakthrough in that case. It turns okay. out Leland was sort of rogue mistress. I know. How? Well, a long time ago, Leland had developed an AI, and this AI became very intelligent and took over and essentially was rogue mistress. So he created it. He not is it. That is still a little bit unclear. I don't know much about AI, so... You know, you and me both, ironically, I don't know much about AI. Um, yeah, that's a little ironic. Yeah. I gotta tell you, though, like, Leland knew this the whole time, and he didn't disclose it. Well, maybe I mean, he should have been an actor, right? <laughs> yeah, so I pretty much said, okay, Leland, um, you know, and Leland was not present. Uh, Leland not, was not present either, but I made the executive decision that were I to still be captain, since the, the vote hadn't been revealed yet, that were I to still be captain, Leland would be kicked off my ship. Because I can't have people that I can't trust on my so ship. You, you kicked him off? Yeah, no Leland. Does he know? I don't know. I don't care. I hope he rots in jail. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, I just feel bad for his fiance. <laughs> well, so, so he created Rogue Mitras, but he was also trying to catch her. Yeah, or was he not? He was just pretending to. I think he was confusing. really trying to catch her, but he was covering up the origins of Rogue Mistress. So, so would was... it have been better if he had just admitted? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have had a if problem with it. If he had just been it. like, hey, my bad, I did this thing like ten years ago. Yeah, and Nora had some things to admit. She's done some some dirty business on the dark web. Um, we all? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I feel like we kind of all suspect that she may have also admitted, I didn't put this on the agenda because, um, well, she may have also admitted that she, uh, has some specifics about the nature of her political capabilities. So, she doesn't just have a good polling system, which she does. The polling system is legitimate, the polling system is solid, it's good. But um, her specialty is actually in using the media to manipulate people into voting a certain way. Okay. Uh, she gave a, a specific example that might make you feel certain feelings. Um, but we were talking about uh, the one movie that you did with the dog that made everybody cry. And, uh, everyone was like, oh, this scene with Roxy and the dog, it was so moving, because, you know, you're, you're pretty amazing. Um, I know. yeah, and, uh, she said she actually leaked that movie, um, on the web because there was an animal welfare vote up, and she wanted to, uh, she wanted to specifically, um sway the vote in favor of a yes for animal welfare. So that was her example okay. of, of what she did. So she Is she talking about the, the 
the cell phone footage of like where they thought the dog was being abused or whatever? Uh, I think that and also the movie, the parts of the movie itself that were still embargoed. Um, you know, oh, she she leaves. I so just much. hey. I acted, I got paid, that was it. I, after that, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, she was using that as an example. Um, and some of this kind of leads to uh, to our engineer selection. So, okay. um, last time we talked, uh, I told you that I had been pressured to ensure that you were able to uh, make one of the choices for the engineer replacements. Uh -huh. Um and Tess didn't like that very much because she's in charge of engineering, which, yeah, I kind of understand. I mean, I, I try to put myself in her shoes. What if they had told Tess that she had to pick another, like, person to replace an entertainer on the ship? Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't exactly. I feel the same way? <laughs> exactly. So, you know, like, we talked about it, and since I decided Leland's could not be on the ship any longer... We shuffled some things around. So this is what Tess and I would propose to you. So Nora volunteered to take uh, Leland's position, which she's very capable of doing. So I was like, all right, Nora, you can slide into the info security position. Um, that leaves Nora's position unfilled as well as the two engineers. So Tess would get to pick her own engineers, and you would get to fill the CSOP section, and Nora assured me that no matter who you pick, they could be a competent CSOP person. That job isn't quite as difficult, and therefore you would be... I don't even know what that job is. <laughs> um, it's basically like systems administration. It's pretty boring. I'm not going to lie. It's boring. Oh, okay. But you could pick someone who's super entertaining and is just there as CSOPs, pretty much, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so we thought and hoped that maybe you would actually like, would pre or even prefer to pick somebody for that position rather than a super serious engineering role that, that, you know, our lives, like, depend upon. It wasn't the job position that really mattered, just the fact that there was an open slot. That's all that really mattered. That's, you know, we were kind of hoping you might feel that way because we're pretty much going to be good with just about whoever you suggest. As long as it's not Leland, I will personally murder him. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, who would you like to have now that you've got a little even more leeway with that role? Um, well, this is hard for me to actually say. Uh, mm -hmm. Excuse me. <clears throat> so. Okay. You, this will be the first time I've ever said this out loud. Uh, and I know there's people watching. And this is going to blow up once I say it because nobody knows. But I what am pregnant. What? And so the open slot is going to go towards my unborn child. First of all, well played. Secondly, congratulations. It's the little piece of um, Perry, my co-star from Starcross, that I have left. Oh, The fans are going to go crazy. No, no. I can... Uh, ugh, God. Yeah, You're probably going crazy always, right now. I, yep. well, my, yeah, I'm sorry. It's something that I originally, and I... Uh, I am ashamed to admit this, but I'm going to admit it anyway. Originally, I just wasn't going to tell anyone. I was going to wait till it was too late. We're out. We're already off mm -hmm. in space. I mean, what are you going to do? I wasn't going to tell anyone. I could have dropped you um, off at Mars. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was born there, but I just... <sighs> I just felt like with this opportunity, I was able to actually just come clean about it. And even though I didn't really want people to know, it's, it's it happened. Well, it's not only thing. am I happy for you, I appreciate that you came forward with this. It's nothing to be ashamed of, obviously. It's something to celebrate. No, and, um, no it was more about, because the contract I was in mm -hmm. forced me to be on the ship. However, right. it did not force my child to be on the ship. Right. So when 
my agent, who was pretty much the only person that knew, um, found out he was trying to find a way to use my child in order to sever my contract because the child is underage, obviously, Mm -hmm. since it's not born yet. And Mm -hmm. so legally it's not held to the same standards. It didn't Mm -hmm. sign its name. So that was how I got my contract severed. But then I chose to stay anyway. Uh, I feel like it's the best option for my child considering the state of the world right now. And it'll be nice to know that their, what, their children, their grandchildren will be the ones to set foot on the new planet. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you chose to stay. And I do feel that I speak, hey, now that I'm still captain, I do speak for the entire crew when I say that I'm glad you chose to stay. And I'm not the kind of person, and this, you know, this is something I think everybody's learned right now. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that's going to berate somebody for, um, you know, for anything that um, they feel like they need to confess, even if it's bad, which this isn't bad, but, you know, anything they need to confess. Uh, unless they withhold it and don't come forward. Like, you know, you're not Leland. You're Roxy. And you, and you did the right thing. And um, not only that, you still you managed to do it in a way that um, fills a need on the ship. Because we are going to need a, a CSOPs person. Um, and CSOPs... And, and that was the thing. You could, you, you know, my child, you can teach them whatever you need. So it's it, that's why it was more about the space and not necessarily the positioning. That makes sense. It actually all works out really well because CSOPs isn't like, if your child decides they don't necessarily want to be like, you know, an engineer who has to like completely obsessively study that kind of stuff, um, that's a, that's okay. CSOPs is a job they can do. Maybe they want to be an actor instead. All right. That's cool. You can do that and be CSOPs. So I think that this is a very good uh, solution to everybody's worries. Well, I definitely don't want to be like my parents who forced me into it at first Mm -hmm. and then stole all my money and I had to get emancipated. I don't want to be like that. So I'm, I'm going to try my best to support them in whatever they choose to do, even if it's not acting. That's (laughs) even if they decide they don't want to be an engineer or a CSAP or whatever. That sounds great. Um, well, the other thing is you're not the only one who is going to be arriving on the ship pregnant because, uh, Dr. Proctor also announced that she is with child. <laughs> what was in the water? <laughs> well, for her, it was a deliberate decision because, um, you know, just kind of relating to genetics. And I think, um, if I may personally say so, also her growth as a person um, and her own uh, desires. And she said that she ensured that the genetic material was, you know exemplary, etc. Um, and, uh, I think, um, I, I think it's going to be, uh, amazing, you know, knowing who our first parents on, on the ship are going to be. It's pretty cool. So congratulations. Well, maybe it'll, maybe it all works out too, that, um, they will be able to grow up together. Yeah. They're going to be the oldest, they're going to be like the oldest of their generation because they're really the only, I mean, I think we have a couple like 18 year olds. I know I do in my uh, flight ops crew have some young hotshot pilots, but I think uh, other than that, you know, we don't have any like super little ones uh, on board. So they're going to be, they're like, if they want to be leaders, you know, they're in a really good position to do that. That's good. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a really I, good future for your child. I I don't even know what to say. I just it's it's like taking care of something, and it's not all about you anymore. It, at first, I was shocked because, of course, you know Perry passed away. Uh, but it's it's good. It's good, and it's and it'll take some getting used to. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm going to be perfect, but 
I've at least played moms on TV, so I know a little bit. Well, that's something, you know. They say you, like, embody the characteristics of people you portray. And I kind of wonder how that works with Frances, too, because she, you know, since she's also Cassandra, I wonder, like, she has this, like, hidden side of this, like, very creative, romantic person to her that just... I don't know. I can't believe she was ever with Leland. He's such a just. He's such a scumbag. He's such a jerk. I'm I, so glad he's off the ship. I had no. I was not even. This is a complete. This is like plot twist. <laughs> yeah, freaking Leland, man. Uh, if if this impacts any of the other cherry missions, I'm gonna be very upset. But he's done. I actually wait, hope he goes wait. to trial. So Rogue didn't actually get caught. Well, we figured out who it was, and there was no further activity. So, uh, I mean, Nora was working on isolating the problem, and there haven't been any issues since Leland fessed up and uh, turned himself in. So Okay, that's a little suspicious, but all right, I'll take it. I know. It's not bothering us anymore. There's no problem. I know. I mean, I'm still awaiting further details, but... Um, but that's the big, you know, that's the biggest news. And, uh, although I think really the best news is your announcement and just congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's, as you can tell, I'm a little, like, I'm happy, but I'm also worried. It's, you know, it's a mixed, mixed bag. I mean, I think you'd be, you'd be worried no matter what the situation was. It's probably, from what I've observed. I'm less worried than if I had stayed on Earth. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, from what I've observed, that's just a new parent thing. You're going to be worried, right? So, um, yeah, but obviously there are other circumstances as well, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting and it'll be really interesting to make a movie on the ship with, uh, oh gosh. Not knowing that Francis is Cassandra, that's just fantastic. <laughs> I, I, I'm literally speechless. Me, of all people. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, congratulations, you, oh my goodness. Roxy, your Instagram post already has 1,400,000 oh. likes. I, I know, and my phone is blowing up. What are and, you doing? <laughs> yeah, even, I just, I, I wow. can't even, pro- I, I think that my agent's going to be really mad because <laughs> he told me not to tell anybody, but, you know, wow. it's my life, so, um, It sorry. is, and I mean, sorry, yeah. <laughs> your your destiny is in the stars, as as is mine, apparently, even though there are other Emilys out there. Um, but you're the best Emily, so. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I appreciate that. I try to be the best Emily that I can be. Um, you know, you're never gonna please everyone as a leader, but you can you can do your best, and I've certainly tried. So. Right. Wow. Well, we uh, we're supposed to all meet up on Tuesday for launch prep. Um, yep. Where we will then get on the ship and then go. Uh, get guided into space to um rendezvous with the station where we will meet Tess and have the final install of the engine and uh from there we'll be on our way past Mars and off to to Proxima it's exciting I'm nervous I'm nervous I'm excited I have a few more things I have to wrap up. I've got to finish a cameo appearance I'm making on Galaxy of Thrones and uh, as a flashback scene. And then I have to fill out some paperwork to release my agent of his his contract. That's going to be fun. And um, just a bit stupid financial logistics stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, we've got to transfer funds and all this stupid junk yeah it's a lot to tie up I, you know i never thought i'd be living till the next day every every day i never even thought like oh i'll just handle that tomorrow or i'll i'll be alive tomorrow i never thought that um so i never really thought ahead more than a day it's a little weird to think about having all this time but um who knows maybe i'll be in a play or something maybe you can Maybe you can teach me some new tricks. (laughs) 
yeah, just teach you how to channel your rage into acting. <laughs> yeah, that that might work. My rage at Leland <laughs> is particularly strong at the moment. Um, you know, I I sincerely hope that. And it's not even that he necessarily did anything with malice. It's that he knew what was going on and did not come forward. Um, that's the problem. That's it's the a, a broken trust thing. It really is. I can't have someone like that working on my system security. Because if he had just sat there and he just said, hey, I did this thing. Yeah, we'd be upset, but at least he let us know. And then we could get information from him on how to contain the problem. And it would still be of... this exciting adventure to hunt down you know, the, the, whatever it is, the AI who created a virus. and selfish. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. So I am going to go have a, a drink with, with, uh, Lucius and do some final preparations. Um, do you have anything I, else that you want to add or say to your fans while you have this moment to yourself? Yes. Um, to my sweet links. I will miss you. I love all of you. Thank you for being with me um, for this journey and leading up to this journey. I'm still going to be here until the uh, feed is not available anymore. And um, just remember that I love you and I care about you. Oh, that was really kind of you to say to them. All right, everybody. I guess this is my last chance to really say something. I said a lot to the crew last time, but... Um, Roxy has inspired me to maybe say something to everyone watching. I've come under a lot of criticism, as has Rella Hart and company. And um, I think the mission is going to speak for itself. I think it'll, if there is a history left to remember us on Earth, I think it will be remembered as a mission of hope. And that's how it's intended. We, we are in a perfect crew, but we're functional. We work well together, and we rooted out the... Um, the truly disastrous things that we needed to get rid of before proceeding on this journey. So thank you for believing in Chariot Beta. And uh, we'll see you on the feed when we launch. Roxy, I'll see you on Tuesday. All right. I'll have your trophy ready. All right. See you then. Bye.